We got a straggler coming. There he is. Fashion blue late. Hello. <laughs> One is never said, late. Everyone though. else is Everyone early. Else is early. Everyone straggles up. I said you're you're never late. Everyone else is just early. That's right. Ah. <laughs> I like the way you look at things. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Yeah, what's up? Good. 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 You guys just want to hang? No. Good. Does he want to watch an episode of Rust Development? Stop. I haven't okay. seen the new Arrested Development yet. You need to. Is it awesome? Good. It is oh. pretty awesome. It's on Netflix, right? Yeah. Yeah. Snag it whatever. Okay. I'll do it this week. Okay, we're ready to like jump into yeah. questions. Okay. I have cool. questions. Cool. I'm so glad you're both here because I have a question that works for both of you. Cool. So both of you are like both your characters are clearly suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, did either of you research it? What do you think your character's triggers are? And how do you choose to portray that? <laughs> that might be the most intense question uh, I've ever gotten. I stayed up night after night. <laughs> was this not, sorry, boy. <laughs> um, it's funny. I mean, I don't think I don't think we've ever addressed that with Derek um, specifically. I, I, it is something that I would love to um, to play with coming up in 3B uh, if Jeff feels so inclined to do so. Um, just because I feel like what he's gone through this year. Um, I think it's kind of, it's, it's taking a new toll on him. I think the, the amount of responsibility he's starting to feel for the mess that is, you know, the Deacon Hills, uh, I think he's starting to kind of ride high on him. I think he's really starting to feel the weight of that. So um, I, that's something that we can address specifically in, in 3B. And if Jeff wants to make something out of that, I would love to explore that. I think it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Styles, uh, actually, like a little later in this season, it gets more so like that, really quite specifically, actually, with my character. Like, I do start like freaking out. Kind of. um, and that stuff, I, never, I don't have to research it. So I'm a very uh, anxiety ridden dude anyway. So like, uh, I, I have experience with stress and uh, making yourself uh, freak out, panic attacks. Uh, so. I just pull it from there, from, from myself. Uh, I have a question, actually. Uh, Derek, um, so throughout the show so far, he keeps getting used, his body keeps getting used against his will. So there's hate, and then he's got his by Gerard, and now Lloyd. Um, yes. Uh, is that sort of, is that pattern significant in any specific way, or is it just generally Derek's life is terrible? Uh, I think mean, Derek's life just sucks right now. Yeah. I think it's just a series of bad luck. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's just, it's, it's kind of the progression of the story. I know with, with what I've talked to Jeff about with the upcoming uh, you know, second half of the, the season, the second half of 24, um, you're going to kind of start to see, I guess, why it is that things are going this way for Derek. Uh, it really is a good fit. Um, other storylines and other characters, so uh, it will definitely start to have a more, uh, have a broader effect on the rest of the cast uh, and the characters in the show. So uh, that'll be fun to explore once we get to it. So, um, I can tease that, yeah, I mean, yeah. Hey, this way, but it's. Uh, I can tease that it's that was one of my favorite scenes to shoot all season. Although I could never really talk about it because you know it's a spoiler, big spoiler. Um, I can tease it's not exactly what you think, but it's just as sweet and uh, it's, a, it's it's a great moment. Because I think like like at this point where we are with the with the you know with, with, the, with those two characters and that relationship, it's such a great uh, scene for them. I know. I don't want to you know spoil it all. Um, it's really sweet though. You know, she it's all like it's. It's sweet. I can't. I can't. I keep wanting to say more, and I can't. I can't. Um, it's a really nice moment for them as as, as friends, as just you know, as, as the humans that they we can really connect with them. I know you were saying yesterday in the panel, Derek rarely has wins. <laughs> yeah, never. Someone just needs to like hold the door for him like once. So but do you personally think Derek is a good alpha? No. <laughs> no. Uh, 
I think I think Derek's uh, I think Derek's heart is in the right place. Um, I do think that as much as you know, in the beginning of season two, uh, we may have made it look like he had very selfish motives and reasons for why he wanted to be an alpha. Uh, I think at the end of the day, you know, what we've always talked about Derek being really is kind of that that guy in the Western movie who really just wants to be like out on his farm with his family and just kind of to himself and just to live a kind of like a simple life. Um, and really, I kind of think that's what he was trying to do with building this pack. And his whole family really is gone, and so I think he was just really tired of being that uh, that Omega, that lone wolf. I think he really just wanted like a family and that connection with people again. Um, so I think his heart is in the right place. I just think he's done a really bad job going about it. He's not positioning himself well at all. So. I actually have a follow-up question to that. Um, Obviously, we haven't seen it, but I know actors a lot of times build their own history in their heads so that you know where you're coming from. Uh, what have you built as what Derek like wanted to be or was up to in those six years? Like, what did he want to be when he grew up? You know, I would. <laughs> like, yeah, no, seriously, like, what? I know. Are we... <laughs> <laughs> already, you know. I think. Um... I think it, it's really great that the flashback episode is coming up this week um, because that answers a lot of questions. Uh, and it answered a lot of questions for me, too. I mean, there, there are things that as an actor you do try to, uh, to at least give yourself to have some kind of point of reference to be coming from when you're doing scenes and, and you are kind of feeling out this character and why they are a certain way. Um, but it, it is also nice to get specifics from the person who's created that character. Uh, and so this, this episode coming up next week is going to be really great to answer a lot of those questions and stuff. Uh, and really to see, it is, it's, it's an innocence loss kind of story for, for Derek and he's had it really rough. Um, so I think, I think it'll be an exciting episode. Super cool. The next episode is so really good. Really but like, what did you if anything, what did you build for yourself? From? For myself, it was just yeah, they were. I mean, dude. sorry, yeah. sorry. There was. Uh, I, just, I mean, I see. I see them as a very powerful, a very powerful family. Um, I always saw them as kind of like you know. Um, I saw the hails and the arches as kind of like these long lines of lineage of um, like ancient hunters and ancient werewolves who just kind of always been at the top of their game. And I think for Derek, it was just the same thing. I don't think he ever wanted anything too grand. Uh, I think he loved his family. He's very close to his family. And I think he just wanted to, you know, continue that legacy. I think when you, when you come from uh, people who set such a strong example, I think you feel a lot of pressure to continue that. And so I think that's, I think he just wanted to be a good person, a good, a good alpha someday maybe, but I don't know if that was ever his, uh, I don't think being an alpha or having that power was his initial goal. I think that's something that's, that's been put on him, uh, you know, just to be Um, Dylan, uh, so in the latest episode, you were about to tell your dad what was going on, and then it didn't work out. Um, is that still something that Styles is open to do as well? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, not exactly open to it, I guess, but it like, just might have to happen at this point. It's like understanding that maybe it's, you know, time. Uh, it's, like, he's always kept it from him to protect him, you know, obviously, but it's, sometimes it's not, uh, you know, that's not always the case, and especially recently, it's almost put him in more harm's way, you know, having him in the dark like that. So, uh, yeah, he's, you know, that, that'll still be happening, uh, I think, in a couple episodes. There's actually a really funny scene, too, um, when I do, like, go try to tell him. Um, it's just like not working. I don't know how to explain it. Because like, if you think about it, that that's true too. Like, there's all that build up with it, and then if you think about it, what am I actually gonna say to him? It's funny, it's, uh, but yeah, that definitely still happens. Can you say who? Can I say who? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's not a huge spoiler, I guess, for me. I guess, yeah. Um, like, me and Adelaide were together in that episode. Like, me and Cora have, uh, have like, a we have been together. Yeah, she's, like, with me when I'm, like, telling my dad. It's a very funny scene. Yeah, it's a recent episode. When your character was worried about being dead for dinner. Yes. Awesome. Are you aware of that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I was aware of it actually really enough. 
I wanted to, I, I had the, that so sweet thing just because I felt like there was need, something needed to be there, like, where I don't just, like, stare at him and he walks away, you know, like, that, that didn't, to me, it didn't feel right uh, having to see that back. Um, so I thought, it, I thought that made sense, you know, to, because that's, yeah, I mean, it was really sweet. Okay. <laughs> That was it? Yeah. Oh my god, these are fast. Sorry, guys. Nice talking. Yeah. Do you do? This is cool, by the way. I was looking at Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Thank you. I guess I know.